Bias tends to play a part in everyday situations, such as this case. Jelani Day disappeared August 24th of this year. His body was found on September 4th, but he wasn't identified until September 23rd. And then we have these two. Gabby Petito disappeared a few days after Jelani disappeared. And her body was found shortly midway between September. And with shortly in the same week her body was found, her boyfriend Brian Laundrie had disappeared as well too. The difference between these two cases is the fact that these two have been national headline news for months, whereas Jelani's barely had any coverage at all. When it comes to Jelani's case, there seems to be a lot of bias that surrounds this case, from the coroner's office to the police investigation, even in the media. The coroner's office has bias for weeks, and yet the only thing they got done was a toxicology report that said that he had caffeine and THC in his system. Even though the findings had no significance to the case, just because of the fact that since the body was in the water for so long, they could not determine the cause of death for the body. When it comes to the law enforcement side of it, they are treated as if it's a missing persons case and not an actual homicide. Compared to the Gabby Petito case, which went from a missing persons case to a homicide in a matter of weeks. It comes to show the biasness in this country where we really spend resources and manpower trying to solve the Gabby Petito's case as well as locate her fiance, then use those same resources to solve the case of Delani's. Another thing that I find crazy is that during her Gabby Petito's disappearance, her family actually appeared on the Dr. Phil show in the hopes of finding answers for her disappearance. But at the same time, you did not see Jelani's family on the Dr. Phil show as well either. And yes, Dr. Phil, this is me calling you out. We didn't say everything is equal, but in cases like this, you always find that a white person does have more coverage than a person of color. There's a lot of suspicions and unanswered questions in this case as well as way too much bias where he's not given the same amount of equality as any other case that comes across the police station. So let's try to find the answer for his family so that way they can find the justice they deserve. And for those that's question me and say that I don't know what I'm talking about, yeah, this is my degree. Deal with it.